All walks of life have been paying tribute to Congolese music icon Papa Wemba. Fellow music icon Oliver Mduguzi called on the media to ensure the musical genius of the African legends such as Papa Wemba is not lost. Malumune, malumune. Oh, Malumune, Malumune, Malumune. Zimbabwe's music legend Oliver Mutukudzi recalls the first time he heard Papa Wemba sing. I saw a movie called Love Avia. And in this movie, he was part of one of the actors there. I think he was a supporting actor. And he sang, Malumune, Malumune. And I fell in love with that song and I tried to find out who is this guy and uh, I discovered it was Papa Wemba and from there I had been a fan. The two would later on meet on many occasions. According to Mtukudzi, it was Papa Wemba's voice that was his talent, a voice that he says pierced his heart. It's a sad thing that um, uh, Papa Wemba is gone. He was... Um, a unique artist. We have shared um, uh, the stage several different uh, festivals abroad and uh, it's sad to hear that he's no more. Across the country, Zimbabwe has been paying tribute to the late king of Rumba Rock. It's tragic, very tragic. It came as a surprise. He's a legend, African legend. Coincidentally died the same time with the American legend Prince. He was an entertainer, very centric uh, man. I remember having all night dance parties to his music when I was younger. So I don't know if there is anyone who will be able to fill his shoes. Young musicians also paid tribute to the impact the icon had on the local music scene. Uh, rumba music has affected uh, Zimbabwe music uh, in terms of dancing and uh, instrumental. The way they play the uh, instrument and uh, the way people dance. Papa Wemba's death comes as Africans bemoan the loss of the identity of African music, a loss that Mtukudzi blames on the media. You don't promote who we are. You promote Ali and stuff, even though you are an African media, but you don't talk about Africa, you talk about uh, what you learn from somewhere else, and you don't talk about what you experience. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.